Well, Mayor Adams delivering what may be some of his strongest words yet about the ongoing migrant crisis. During a town hall on the Upper West Side, he said the issue will, quote, destroy New York City. All right, Fox 5's Linda Schmidt joins us now with more on his remarks and the reaction they're getting, and it is a strong reaction for sure, Linda. Lots of eyes popping, that is for sure. The mayor is just beyond frustrated at this point, and he is slamming President Biden for failing to handle the southern border and the migrant crisis. In fact, he says the city is now getting about 10,000 migrants a month. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. Mayor Adams laying it on the line and making his most dire prediction yet on the migrant crisis. He spoke during a town hall meeting last night on the Upper West Side, which is one of the most progressive liberal areas of the city, and he did not get any pushback. And let me tell you something, New Yorkers. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. The mayor saying more than 110,000 migrants have arrived in the city in the past year. He railed against President Biden for failing to help the city and control the border. We're getting no support on this national crisis. One time we were just in Venezuela, now we're in Ecuador. Now we're getting Russian speaking coming through Mexico. Now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Now we're getting people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're going to come through the southern part of the border and come into New York City. He says the crisis is financially crippling. We have to feed, clothe, house, educate the t children. If the state and the federal government aren't paying attention, they're going to lose voters over this. Something Democratic strategist Basil Smeichel says Democrats cannot afford as the party tries to regain power in Congress. Eric Adams makes these comments because he thinks it'll create more support for him and for New York. What it might do is give Republicans an opening to use these comments against him and against other Democrats running. They're going to take his comments, put it in a commercial, put it in literature, and you can just see what those co commercials right now are going to end up looking like. Also today, the Legal Aid Society and the Coalition for the Homeless are blasting the mayor for his comments. They are calling them reckless, fear-mongering, and villainizing people who are coming to the U.S. for a better life. Stephen Ashley, back over to you. Very well. All right. Thanks, Linda.